here it is, the Christopher Ward 12, man. Come in this little box, it's like a wine box or a whiskey box. Let's get that out. Let's get that out. Let's get rid of that for a minute. So, little certificate here. Every uh, Christopher Ward 12 is COSC certified. Uh, and this is a good little little document here. It tells you the, the various measurements and, and kind of the grade it got to during its certification. In here are the links that I had to take out. I have a seven and a half inch wrist and uh, I didn't have any trouble sizing this up. Uh, the, the man who owns this watch, my friend, he has a, uh, a four and a half centimeter wrist. It's the wrist of a small lizard and he didn't have any uh, trouble sizing it up. So lots of range within the Christopher Ward 12. Now, a couple of notes on packaging here. Uh, Christopher Ward, I don't know what their packaging is normally like, but I get the sense that they are stepping it up a little bit. It's, it's a weighty affair, wooden box at one end, and at the other end, kind of sort of a mole skin, kind of like an unusual kind of uh, surface. Lovely branded, kind of pressed, embossed, uh, uh, you know, just kind of you feel the kind of situation going on there. <coughs> And then the actual box itself, like I say, it's got some, some heft about it. And actually, as you open it, it's got a little sort of a clink because there are actually a little metal plate here and little magnets that kind of stick to it. Yeah, it's a serious, a serious bit of kit. Anyway, again, branded Christopher Ward written on there. So let's just turn her around and then we open it up. And the first thing we're greeted with is some documentation. We have a little owner's handbook here for the 12. You know, it's a standard affair, uh, lots of bump, pictures of uh, the 12 instructions. But because we're grown up, so we've had a watch before, we don't need to read those instructions. The little guarantee, again, nice little kind of little booklet in the shape of the box, in the sort of dimensions the box like. Now, here's what I'm talking about. In here is a cleaning cloth, just like a microfiber cloth. But again, it's kind of got the embossed kind of shiny thing there. Even on the little pull tab, it's got the kind of little crosses. And this is just this is just overkill, man. You undo this, look, again, Christopher Ward crosses inside, and then you get to your own Christopher Ward branded microfiber cloth, which is you know always good to have another cloth, I guess. Anyway, on to the main event. This, my friends, is the Christopher Ward 12 in titanium now they're at, 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 at launch they have two different colors how am i going to get this thing off man i hate these things sometimes where's the end of it you can never find the end i get really frustrated with these things i start wanting to throw the watch around and stuff but i can't do that it's not my watch oh man i'm gonna <laughs> like where is it how is it possible come on man where's the end of the thing here we are here we are i got it i got it oh this is ridiculous <laughs> like I'm gonna... I got it I got it oh finally got it here we go let's just peel this sucker off and there you have it my friends this is the Christopher Ward 12 in titanium yeah titanium the big boy like I say at launch it had this this blue color and a purple color I don't know what other colors they got planned but that's what they had at launch let's deal with dimensions first we have a 40 mil case it's 44.5 lug to lug it's 100 meters water resistance uh, and I believe it's only like 9.8 thick it's it's really a skinny little thing let me chuck it on wrist actually it's a skinny little thing it wears really well and um let me just throw it on like I say, I had no problem adjusting this. Uh, it's uh, screw screw in links. And if you look at the links, there's kind of like normal size and almost like half links as you get up to the kind of claspy area. No problems. And, and once you get this thing on wrist, now he, he, let's cut straight to it. If you saw a photo of this watch and you like the look of it, you'll love it when you get your hands on it. If you saw a photo of this watch and you didn't like it, you'll love it when you get your hands on it because it's just got one of those things. You've got to be a serious integrated bracelet hater to not like this watch. Once you've got it on wrist, it just does something. Now we're going to talk about the dial in a minute, but this bracelet, man, this bracelet is some serious business. Now my friend actually also purchased from Christopher Ward their, their rubber strap, which is kind of a very basic affair if you ask me, but still, still pretty cool. Do you know what I mean? Still pretty cool. Uh, it looks very, it looks very good. The way it, it, it connects is very good. Got some metal hardware in there to make sure you get a really good fit. I'll put in some B-roll of it on the strap. 
Again, titanium buckle with Christopher Ward branding. Very simple on one side, very complicated on the other, but there you go. This is like, I think 85 pounds or 89 pounds for this strap. That is not good value for money, but if you've paid nearly 1600 pounds for this titanium, which is what my friend paid, then I guess what's another 90 quid, 85, 90 quid, whatever this is, okay? And you, and you get you get a different look, so I, I suppose it's worth it. Now, back to the watch. This bracelet, though, oh my. And it's something to do with how it's put together. Like I said, I'm going to put some B-roll in. It's to do with the links here that are... Um, there's lots of finishing on this watch, lots of different kinds of finishing, but um, there are three, to be honest with you. There's sandblasting, there's polishing, and then there's kind of like linear polishing, you know, like like a brush polish. I, I, you know, three different kind of finishes, right? It adds loads of different facets, and particularly with the bracelet, you're getting that sandblasted, then you're getting the polishing, polished edges that kind of just catch the light. It's just, it's just something special, man. And I guess that's the mark of most integrated bracelets, okay? Um, the PRX is the same. You, you put it on and it just sparkles somehow. But also with the 12, with this, uh, with, with the kind of the shape of the dial, which I'm told is a double dodecagon. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know if that's true, but they say it's a double dodecagon. Um, and there's a couple of nods here. Obviously, Gerald Genter uh, did some great sterling work. And this is a wink and a nod. It's part of the same reason I had on my, my Cassie Oak, okay? A little bit of a nod to Genta, but that's nothing to do with Genta, that's Cassio. And this is nothing really to do with Genta, man. This is Christopher Ward, right? But there's, there's that sort of Genta-esque kind of shapes to it, angles to it, and that's kind of why you're buying it, okay? It's kind of like that, that, that cheap kind of version of it, but not really so cheap, you know? This is, like I say, this is 1,600 pounds. I think the silver one, silver, blooming heck. The all metal one, not the titanium. I think it's around 1,000, 1,100, somewhere in there. So you're paying quite a lot more for this. I'm told that this is about 26 grams lighter, the actual head of the watch, uh, than the, the all metal. And um, you do feel it. It's definitely very light, very comfortable, very wearable. I had it on the rubber strap the other day, and that's infinitely more wearable. You hardly notice you've got it going on. But this watch is just a treat. Uh, inside here, now, there is a display case back. Uh, I don't know, I'll, again, I'll throw some macro and I'll try and get a little bit of it here, but you know, it's a pretty enough kind of movement. It's, it's, this is a Solita SW300, like I say, COSC certified. Uh, I think it's 25 joule, 56 hours power, power reserve. It's nice enough. And they've done a bit of Christopher Ward decoration on it, the little crosses there. Nothing too amazing, but they've done enough. Now the real show here, honestly, outside of maybe the titanium integrated brace, bracelet, that kind of slightly darker metal, is that, dial that goes from that dreamy blue in the middle to that kind of dark smoky black at the edges and when we zoom in this isn't a checkerboard this isn't a diamond pattern this is the christopher ward cross just repeated ad nauseum across that dial and it's just the, that very angle that little christopher ward almost like cross pyramid situation that catches the light all the time and it's just oh lovely uh, you've got a signed crown you've got uh quite muscular crown guards there almost look like buttons almost like a chronograph situation which is interesting because this particular movement the Sleater sw300 is, is very open to other kind of uh complications being added to it chronographs moon phases uh, even tourbillons whatever you know you're gonna hit a tourbillon here but you know what i'm saying it's obvious they're going to do a lot more, right? They're going to do a lot more with these 12s than just have this straight three-hander, right? They're going to plan a bunch of stuff. But getting back to the dial, this dial, man, lovely. Like that dreamy blue in the middle, the Christopher Ward branding applied at the top. Um, those markers there, the double one at 12, the half one at six. Now, a quick note and a thank you to Christopher Ward. Um, I love it when a manufacturer matches their date wheel to the color of the dial. Why doesn't everyone do it? It's just, you've got to do it, man. And, and more and more, once you notice date wheels that are different to the color of the dial, once that becomes a thing that your eye catches, you'll never be happy again with any watch that doesn't um, color match their date wheel with the dial. And they do it brilliantly here. Um, what else can I say about this watch? Um, the clasp is is pretty good. These aren't my favorite kind of clasps, to be entirely honest with you. But as these kind of clasps go, this is a comfy one. It's very th it's it's very thin. It doesn't dig in. Sometimes I find it's a little bit of a rub, a little bit of a, a, a 
bulk, a bit bulkier here, but it stays very smooth and I like it and, and it deploys really well. It doesn't ever get stuck. You don't find yourself in any trouble. Um, when you do want to change the bracelet out, it has some quick release uh, kind of like lug things there. I guess it's quick, it's quick, quick release spring bar, right? On a, when you get a strap. I guess these are quick release lugs on a case, I guess. I don't know. Um, again, a quick nod to Jenner at the back here with those six um, back plate screws there. Just a quick nod and a wink. Ah, so like I say, great watch. Now, it, I can't find too much wrong with this other than maybe two things. Possibly the price and possibly Christopher Ward themselves as a brand. Now it's clear they're stepping up. It's clear they're really making the most of the limelight this watch is giving them. How well will that continue? What will their next watches be? Um, how will they deal with future uh, alliterations of this um, watch? I don't know, but I think for me, they're the two things that might hold me back. This being 1,600 pounds and even the, the, even the steel uh, being around the 1,000 pound mark. People say budget is Swiss made. Yeah, I get you, I get you. But there are maybe some other options where you get the same kind of effect and look and feel for a little bit less. 1,600 for me, oh, I don't know, man. It, it all depends, right? Maybe I'm just poor. Maybe I'm just tight. I'm definitely tight. Um, I don't know, man, but that could be a problem. But maybe more it's that Christopher Ward not getting the same respect. If you have a Tissot PRX, which note to self or no not note to uh, let me tell you we're going to be doing a dual an integrated watch showdown between this christopher ward 12 a prx uh powermatic uh, a, a casio integrated and a timex integrated one from each budget uh kind of from way low to a little bit high um, just to kind of work this out but anyway like i say price might be a problem and it's just the christopher wardness what what is this like as an actual brand? Like I say, if you have a PRX, there's a little bit more kind of provenance around Tissot and uh, I don't know, a little bit more known, but that doesn't mean that the Christopher Ward are no chumps. It's not like they just turned up a minute ago. They're not a fashion brand. They've been doing work for a while, but it just, I think this is the first watch where most people are like, yeah, now that's a watch. Oh, that's the Christopher Ward I finally want. So yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, I guess the major con will be you do not like an integrated bracelet. If you do not like an integrated bracelet, you want want this watch. But if you like integrated bracelet, you like beautiful deep dials that are always up to something in the sun and in the shadows and stuff, you go for it. Anyway, this has been the ABC of EDC and I've been Rick Flat, and this has been the Christopher Ward 12 Titanium. Till next time, have a great time. Carry what you love.